Hi, I'm Pedro Shan, and I'm here to give you an overview of how the Agito Mobility Router integrates with your voice and unified communications infrastructure, as well as look at some basic call flows over cellular, Wi-Fi, and 3G. The Agito Mobility Router appliance ties to your IP-based PBX infrastructure from vendors such as Cisco, Avaya, Nortel, and many others using standards-based protocols like SIP. For these IP-based PBXs, the Mobility Router uses two connections, a SIP trunk, which is used for cellular access and handover, and SIP lines. These are the same connections that desk phones use to connect to the PBX. In fact, the Agito Mobility Router can connect to any PBX, including legacy TDM-based systems, using a SIP to TDM or PRI gateway. All right, let's make a VoIP call over Wi-Fi. First, I'm going to grab my BlackBerry, and I'm going to dial a number. Let's pick one that we know isn't going to go anywhere. Let's dial 555. 5091, and I'm going to hit the green button and make sure that that call goes out. Now note that I'm dialing the way I normally do on a mobile phone. I'm not prepending any digits like a 9 or a 1 or a 0. The handset places the call over Wi-Fi and sends call setup messages to the mobility router via SIP. Then the mobility router sends call setup messages to the PBX via the SIP line interface. The PBX will route the calls the way it normally routes calls for desk phones, in this case, out to the PSTN. The destination party will see the desk phone number as the caller ID information, not the mobile number. All right, we've placed a voice over Wi-Fi call. Now let's place a call from the cellular network. All right, I've got my BlackBerry again, and I'm going to dial the same number, 555-5091, and I hit the green button. Now you'll notice that this time the call is going over the cellular interface. The Agito client redirects the call to a direct inward dial or DID number that routes from the SIP trunk to the mobility router itself. The mobility router receives the call and the digits dialed by the user, and then, over the SIP line interface, it sends it to the PBX. Just as with the VoIP call we've made previously, the PBX will place this call to the destination via the PSTN. And once again, the destination party will see the desk phone number and not the mobile number as the incoming caller ID. So we've placed a few calls now. Let's look at receiving some calls. But this time, we're going to receive a call over 3G. Note, as you see the infrastructure to my side, that this connection is secure. It's using an application layer SSL connection directly from the mobility router to the phone. All right, the incoming call is going to come to this extension, 555-1234. The call will route to the PBX, and the PBX is going to ring the user's desk phone. At the same time, the PBX also sends a SIP message to the mobility router. The mobility router sees the incoming call for the user at 555-1234 and checks to see where the user is in order to route the call by the best and most cost-effective network, in this case, 3G. The mobility router sees the user is SIP registered and sends the call via VoIP over the carrier 3G network. The user sees the incoming call and the caller ID of the originator, the person who actually dialed the call, not from the PBX infrastructure. And there you have it, a call that came in via 3G. As you can see, the Agito Mobility Router is simple and easy to integrate with your existing PBX, either IP-based systems or TDM-based systems, and the call flows are very simple and logical. I hope you enjoyed this How It Works session, and please be sure to take a look at other great features and see how they work as well.